Hey, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Yes, I surely do have to revisit that new firmware for the TT Go T Watch 2020. I know what mistakes I made in this first go round. Got a lot of helpful tips and encouragement from all the commenters, and thanks for taking a look at that video. What I want to do is as quickly and as simply as possible, building on the experience we have from my previous video, the Fred Flintstone Sundial Watch using that ultimate cat watch tutorial is to just clone this repository in platform IO and upload it. We're not going to click on anything else. One of the problems that I saw with this previous attempt was I actually downloaded the zip file and tried to install it in platform IO. I ran build, which generated a bunch of errors and then I ran upload and it just never seemed to get better from there. There was a lot of stuff missing. I had the watch hooked up to the console and you could see error after error as the watch is booting in the console. So we're just going to do it nice and simple. Now you see here I've already installed get from that Fred Flintstone uh, sundial video. So now I can just get a repository from the URL right into platform IO. And that's what we're doing here. Then you have to create a local folder for the target of that clone. Actually, I'm going to wait for this IntelliSense to refresh. That was another thing I missed in the first video. I was just clicking way too fast and I was on a slower machine and I think I just got ahead of everything that was going on and we wound up missing stuff. And instead of clicking build, don't do that. Just click on upload. So you want to wait till everything hits a stable state. See there, the IntelliSense is done syncing. All right, so I'm just gonna click on the platform IO, INI. And so now we can just go ahead and hit upload. And you see, it's gonna check out all the repositories. The only warning that comes up is this white space warning. No other errors or warnings during this upload process. So that's what you want to do. Install get, use the get functionality of platform IO to just clone that repository using the URL and then just hit upload. So we're going to follow this through to the finish and then I'll show you the functionality of the watch. We're cropping out a lot here because it does take a few minutes. It's almost done building and it's getting ready to upload. There's the upload. Okay, so the firmware is loaded. Let's check out the watch. Okay, so you see here you swipe up and swipe from right to left to get to the settings. Here you can see my firmware is up to date because I used the on the air update. Now let's check out the rest of the functionality here. Here's the battery status. Here's the screen adjustments. You can adjust the brightness, the timeout, and rotate the screen. You can configure the step counter and the double click for the watch, where if you tap on the screen, the watch wakes up. Here you can set your time zone and sync to the time servers. Obviously, you want to connect to Wi-Fi first before you do any of this. Then you just swipe back and up again. Let's check out the weather app. Basically, you want to go to openweathermap.org register, and then you get an API key that you put in the configuration of your weather app on the TTGO T-Watch 2020, along with your GPS coordinates. And because you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can see that the weather app syncs up, shows you the current conditions, and if you go into it, you get to see the forecast here. So this is what the rest of the day looks like. That back button doesn't seem to work. We'll have to check that out. So one of the cool things about Platform I.O. is this little plug underneath the terminal. It looks like an AC plug. If you click on that, that actually connects you to the console and you can monitor the serial port of the attached device. And we're going to see the TTGO T-Watch essentially boot up here without any errors and sync to the time. So this could be helpful in troubleshooting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video about the TTGO T-Watch 2020 firmware update. You can see we were able to get it done successfully, so I hope you'll give it a try and let me know how it goes. All right.
Thank you very much. Give this video a like. Click down below for the links in the description. Click up here to subscribe. And click over here to check out the TTGO playlist. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.